John M. Keynes, the 5th of June 1883 to the 21st of April 1946, was once one of the most influential economists of the 20th century. His groundbreaking work in the 1930s led to the improvement of a complete new financial self-discipline devoted to macroeconomics. His financial theories, which grew to become regarded as Keynesianism, endorsed authorities' intervention to give up the Great Depression. Keynes John M. Keynes used to be born in Cambridge to an upper-middle-class family. His father was once a lecturer in economics and ethical sciences at Cambridge University. He was once a brilliant student who gained a scholarship to Eton College. After Eton, he studied maths at King's College, Cambridge. At Cambridge, the first-rate economist Alfred Marshall stimulated Keynes to take up the pretty new science of economics. Keynes posted his first financial article in 1909, and by way of 1911 was once editor of the Economic Journal. During the First World War, Keynes acted as an authority's guide for the government. He helped to negotiate phrases. With Britain's lenders, UK debt rose sharply in World War I. At the quit of the First World War, Keynes took phase in the British delegation to the Treaty of Versailles. Keynes used to be started up at the degree of reparations the Allies desired to impose on the Germans. Keynes resigned from the British delegation pronouncing it used to be a recipe for bankrupting Germany. He wrote the economic consequences of the peace in 1919, precisely predicting the difficulties Germany would have and the consequent political resentment at such as harsh peace treaty. If we intention intentionally at the impoverishment of Central Europe, vengeance, I dare predict, will no longer limb. The economic consequences of the peace, 1919, chapter 7, section 1, pg.268 John. M. Keynes In the 1920s, Keynes wrote a effective critique of Britain's choice to return to the gold standard at a pre-1914 level. Keynes argued that the artificially excessive price of sterling would make lifestyles hard for British exporters. The choice to return to the gold standard in 1925 was once broadly blamed for the extended deflation and excessive unemployment the UK skilled in the 1920s. The Chancellor of the Exchequer, Winston Churchill, who used to be accountable for the choice admitted it used to be the largest home mistake of his career. Keynes and the Great Depression It used to be the Great Depression of 1929-39, which gave Keynes the probability to disparage and assignment the classical orthodoxy which dominated monetary principle at the time. At the outbreak of the Great Depression, the classical response used to be to count number on free markets and stability the price range via tax will increase and reducing authorities' spending. In 1931, Keynes used to be mainly integral of Ramsay MacDonald's austerity price range which reduced public investment, wages and extended taxes. Keynes argued that the authorities must be doing the opposite. Throughout the 1930s, Keynes was once a regular voice for advocating greater authorities spending funded by a greater borrowing. However, in most democracies, it proved a lone voice. Aside from intermittent spending as section of Roosevelt's New Deal, the primary precept of Keynes' work used to be that in a recession, there had been wasted sources due to greater personal financial savings and falling personal zone funding and spending. Therefore, the authorities need to intervene. The authorities need to borrow from the surplus financial savings of 
the personal region and assist unemployed resources, mendacity idle, to come to be used. c. Greater at clarification of Keynesian economics Keynes was once additionally or extremely good publicist for his personal views, with a knack for attracting attention. For example, when he noticed a waiter with nothing to do, he knocked some serviettes onto the floor. He defined to his bemused buddies he used to be attempting to forestall unemployment through growing work. In his general theory, he used the analogy of digging holes in the floor to provide an explanation for standards of combination demand. To dig holes in the ground, paid for out of savings, will increase, now not solely employment, however the actual country-wide dividend of beneficial items and services. It is now not reasonable, however, that a smart neighborhood must be content material to stay established on such fortuitous and regularly wasteful mitigations when as soon as we recognize the influences upon which superb demand depends. J. M. Keynes, the general theory of employment, interest, and money ch4. His work created some high-quality soundbites. He popularized the concept of the paradox of thrift individual saving reasons mixture spending to fall he additionally coined the phrase in the lengthy run we are all dead the lengthy run is a deceptive information to present day affairs in the long run we are all dead economists set themselves too easy too vain a venture if in tempestuous seasons they can solely inform us that when the storm is previous the ocean is flat again. J. M. Keynes, a tract on monetary reform, 1923, ch. 3. This phrase used to be an ironic criticism of classical theory, which argued markets would subsequently return to equilibrium, in the lengthy run. His groundbreaking work the General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money, 1936, furnished a framework for macroeconomics and used to be a radical departure from the extra-restricted classical framework. After the war, to various degrees, governments in the West pursued Keynesian demand administration in and tried to reap full employment. This led the U.S. President R. Nixon to declare in the 60s. We're all Keynesians now. In the 1970s, the recognition of Keynes' work used to be challenged by way of the stagflation of the decade and the response of neoclassical economists and monetarists, such as Milton Friedman. But, the extremely good recession of 2008 to 2013, led to a resurgence of pastime in Keynes' clarification for extended recessions. In 1940, his fitness suffered, and he had to reduce again on his workload. However, after the Second World War, he was once requested to take phase in the British negotiations with America over debt repayments. It was once Keynes' job to emphasize to the Americans how bankrupt the UK was. The American delegation, who met Keynes used to be deeply impressed with the aid of his mind and passion. Though they couldn't meet his needs till Congress grew to be involved about the unfold of communism in Europe, and agreed to lengthen the phrases of credit. Outside economics, Keynes used to be a lover of the arts, opera and stated for his extremely good wit. He was once a bold mind and even critics admitted he had each brilliant mind and powers of persuasion. Every time I argued with Keynes, I felt that I took my lifestyles in my arms and I seldom emerged except feeling something of a fool. Bertrand Russell Austrian economist Friedrich Hayek who got here up with an monetary principle. Austrian economics, very exceptional to Keynes, 
wrote, he used to be the one truly terrific man I ever knew, and for whom I had unbounded admiration. The world will be a very lots poorer area barring him. Another best of Keynes was once his optimism and faith in discovering a solution. While many despaired at the social and financial value of the Great Depression, too. Keynes he noticed a way out. It won't now not be like this. He used his know-how of economics to make a fortune on the inventory market. Though, in 1929, he failed to predict the inventory market crash and misplaced a fortune. However, in the 1930s, he noticed his monetary investments make an accurate return, as he made a variety of astute investments. He was once a member of the Bloomsbury Group, an elegant society of Cambridge graduates, who additionally protected Virginia. Wolf and E. M. Forster Keynes married the ballerina Lydia Lopakova, but had a variety of affairs with each girls and men. He tragically died from a coronary heart assault in 1946, simply as he was once assisting to put into 